Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you guys the part 20 of the top 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. Falcon, this is a very powerful add-on for the lock screen and for the notification center. So you can see here on my lock screen, if I swipe like this, I will have all these useful toggles and also a respring safe mode power off and reboot button and the sliders here for the brightness and for the volume control. I can swipe once more and it will take me here to my widgets. But here on the right side, if I swipe, I will have this browser. So here I can browse anything directly from my lock screen and you can rearrange these any way you like and you can also enable or disable any of them. So here is the notification center. If I swipe here, I have the toggles, here I have the notes and then the browser right here. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, you can enable the tweak right here. So you enable it here. And then if you go to lock screen, you can rearrange here the tabs and also you can enable or disable any of them. And you have the same here for the notification center. Onion, this tweak will make your control center look awesome. So what it does is that it removes the lighter layer from the control center and it will give it a flat look. You can see here at the toggles and at the quick launches here is just a flat look. It looks pretty awesome. So just to compare it, here is my iPhone 7 and here is how the default control center looks and here is how the control center will look once you install this tweak. Next alarm 10. This tweak will show you when do you have your next alarm. So it will show it on the status bar as a badge here on the clock app and also on the lock screen. You can see it right here beneath the time it will show you the next alarm. So let's jump pretty quick to the settings of this tweak. What we have here is an enable button. Then you can enable it for the status bar lock screen. And also you can set it as an icon badge. And also you have here a lot of options to customize the tweak. Enable CC mute. This is a very useful tweak that will add an extra toggle to the control center of your device. So it will add the mute button so you can mute your device directly from the control center. Don't scroll. You know on iOS when you tap here at the status bar on a table view like this, it will scroll all the way to the top. This tweak allows you to disable this feature on any of your apps. So here let's just find the settings app. So if I enable the tweak right here, you can see I can tap on the status bar and it won't scroll to the top. But if I disable it, you can see it will scroll all the way to the top. Aurora MP. This tweak will show you the now playing song at the top of the control center right here you can see this is a now playing song and it will show you right here on the top on top of the toggles on the control center control clock this tweak will show you the clock right here above the control center so once you open the control center you will see the clock here as well the tweak doesn't have anything to configure under settings to install it you will need to add a repo which you will find in the description Mini Charge OS. This tweak will bring the charging screen from the Apple Watch to your iOS device. So you can see how cool that looks. Once you plug in your device to charge, you will see the charging screen from the Apple Watch, which looks pretty awesome. And you see that yellow background, you can change that. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here. And then here you can choose a light mode and a dark mode. And then if you go here to changing, changing the background, Here's where you will find instructions on exactly how to do it. Nougat folder. This tweak will bring the Android style folders to iOS. So you can see here the circle icon of the folders and you can see here you have the edges of the icons that show here on the icon of the folder. So if you open it, it will still be the same. It's the same iOS folder, but it will change just the icon, the look of the icon of the folders. View battery bold. This is a tweak for the battery indicator on the status bar. So it will make the font bold and also it can hide the battery icon on the lock screen and also on the home screen. So you will have just a percentage right here. So let's jump to the settings pretty quick. So you have an enable button to make the font bold. Also here you can hide the battery indicator and lower here you can also hide the yellow color of the battery indicator when you enable the low power mode. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tweaks, for more videos like this make sure you subscribe and also leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe for more and also follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of this video.